Susan Boyle arrived in Blackpool today to launch £20 million of investment. She came face to face with a new Waxworth dummy at the new Madame Tussauds. Just down the promenade, another £10 million investment is taking shape at an all-new children's theme park. Well, uh, Jane Barrett uh, is there now, and you couldn't have picked a better day to be in Blackpool, could you, Jane? You're not kidding, it's gorgeous. I've been here lots of times this year and every time it's been miserable reporting on things about to happen, attractions that are going to arrive this year. Well, finally, today, as the sun shines, we can report on something that has actually opened its doors, at least to the press, to the public in two days. That is Madame Tussauds, just down the road there. And that is one of the first big investments from Merlin Entertainment, an important milestone in what is an important year for Blackpool. Susan Boyle comes face to face with Susan Boyle. The Scots love Blackpool, but sadly, not this Scot. I didn't visit Blackpool as a child, but I'm a big fan now. They hope this is the year that lots of people come yeah, back exactly. to discover Blackpool's new face. Part of it down to Merlin. Then, um, Merlin's I'm Mr Blackpool so is Ian Hawkins. My, my clear vision is about making Blackpool number one. If we can do that, increasing its visitors from 13 million as it is just now to 20 million, then Merlin Entertainment's attractions will only benefit from that. Of course, it will take more than this, more than Merlin, to change Blackpool entirely. But the company thinks this is a significant start. So, £20 million investment down the road, £10 million investment here in Nickelodeon land. Those of you who are over five years old might not know that this is SpongeBob SquarePants and this is Dora Explorer. Some of the characters that we'll see in the new children's theme park just around the corner. We're going to see more of it tonight. Amanda, you are the great-granddaughter of the founder of Pleasure Beach. It's a big investment for you, this, isn't it? Nickelodeon Land is a huge investment and also working with a great American corporate giant has been totally different for us. But Nickelodeon Land is going to bring something different to Blackpool. Opens very shortly. What, 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 what kind of an important crossroads do you think Blackpool is at? Well, Blackpool's always evolving, but this year it's seen so many different changes with Merlin coming into town and all their development with Madame Two Swords and the Tower and everything else. So Blackpool's going to be fabulous this year and it will continue to get better and better. In one word, what's the big challenge left for them to do? Beds. Better hotels. OK, then. Thank you for that, Amanda. Let me introduce you to some guys that I've met from Kent over here on holiday. Now, guys, some of you have been to Blackpool before, hands up, and some of you haven't. So first impressions from those who haven't? Oh, I quite like it, yeah. It's all right. Pretty schmauzel. But, it's, uh, I mean, the, the Pleasure Beach is really good and the, everything else is pretty good. So, yeah, okay, no complaints. In, in, in a couple of words, what do you think Blackpool could do better? Uh, get rid of the construction, probably. Ah, That's ah, about it. You've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette, I suppose. So uh, more from Blackpool tonight. Back to you in the studio. Uh, good stuff, Jane.